What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to another edition of the Jericho Report Weekly News Briefing. It is Sunday, the 30th of August, 2020. As always, the first link below will take you over to the Patreon post. That's where you can find all the news, another week of madness. And just to start off, if my energy is off a little bit tonight, it's because tonight two St. Louis City cops were shot, one in the head. He's critical. Uh, so I've been paying attention to that all night. The guy's still barricaded in a house in South City, so please keep that officer in your prayers. Those of you who know me know how I feel. I really don't feel like doing this report, but I always I already prepared the links, so I'm just going to give you what I got. Riots and looting in Kenosha. No sooner did I post my report last week did this shooting happen up in Kenosha. I'm sure you guys are already aware. State of emergency was declared after third night of violence, blah, blah, blah. Put a link to this from Zero Hedge. I just killed somebody. We got the gunman. What's his name? I forget his name, but he shot, shot two or three people, and now he's charged with murder and fleeing the state and all this stuff. I've seen another video of this kid uh, smacking a girl around, so I'm not sure how I feel about him. Enough is enough. Lawyer takes the case after GoFundMe was shut down. I don't think that should have happened. Somebody started a GoFundMe for his legal defense. Because apparently in all the stuff that you could see, you know, it looks like self-defense. But, you know, if he's got a good lawyer, they'll figure all that now in court. Over to COVID news. All hospitals declared COVID-free in Beijing. What? Put a link to that. Find that hard to believe. 9,000 school children diagnosed with coronavirus two weeks after schools reopen. I saw another one tonight that says thousands of college kids are infected. Yes. What did I say a few weeks ago? I said the schools are going to reopen and then we're going to see a surge just before September, you know. Put that, put that from Newsweek. We had Zero Hedge. Uh, UK government scientists admits lockdown was a monumental mistake on a global scale, you think? Put a link to that. The Independent, I guess there's supposed to be an ad there. Coronavirus scientists claim human reinfected with COVID-19 in China. There's another story floating around about a human reinfected with COVID-19 in the United States. Do you know what that means? It means just like the war on terror, they can keep this bullshit going for years on end. Oh, people, we got Trump attacked FDA on vaccine timing just days after top official pledged to resign. Administration rushes out unproven immunization. Uh, he's pushing for a vaccine before election day. People are saying it's an election stunt. Still, your president is pushing for a vaccine. Does that not mean anything to you? 2020 nightmare. Army of lawyers prepare to fight long legal battle. Apparently, Trump's not going to leave the White House, and none of the results are going to be accepted. Al Gore says if Trump... Refuses to concede military will take him out of the White House. Oh, I'd love to see that. And I got one more for the Joe Biden people. Here you go. This video, Joe Biden pinches nipple of Montana eight-year-old niece. Check it out. This video is age-restricted. Now, those of you who know YouTube know that there's two ways that a video can be age-restricted. It could be done by the uploader, in which it would say that here, or it could be done based on the fact that YouTube reviewed it and found it inappropriate. And you know that's just one of endless examples on YouTube and all over the Internet, that creepy guy. Anyway, over to financial news. How major U.S. stock indexes fared on Friday. Looks like the Dow Jones uh, rallied 161. Where was it for the week? The Dow was up 723. We are close to the levels. I think maybe we're even beyond the levels before all this corona crap started. But it doesn't make any sense. I'll put a link to the market recap data. Warren Buffett indicator signals a stock market crash is coming. That came out August 21st. Uh, Yahoo Finance. U.S. economy plunges annualized 31.7% in the second quarter. And the Dow is almost 30,000 again. What's going on here? 40,000 job cuts at American Airlines. Be advised. Put a link to that. IRS is warning thousands of cryptocurrency holders to pay their taxes. Oh, did you think you were going to have an independent currency outside of outside of government regulation? Put a link to that. And be advised, as I said the past couple weeks, IRS uh, says companies are responsible for deferred payroll taxes. Those of you who are taking advantage of the payroll tax thing, uh, be advised. You're going, you're going to have to pay that back next year. Let's see. Father of man killed inside Seattle's chop down files $3 billion in claims against the city and the state. Why would your son in the chop zone, sir? Just in New York AG announces lawsuit against Trump org probe financial dealings, blah, blah, blah. That kind of thing there from the Gateway Pundit. Australia's big four banks, this is important, remove thousands of ATMs and shut down hundreds of branches as coronavirus crisis pushes nation toward a cashless society. What have we said all these years? And I got one more link because I didn't have time to do a video on this this week. This is the link to Truth the Girls put out last week. The Great Reset from the World Economic Forum. The Great Reset. You want to take a look at this? It's official, people. Just like we've said all these years. Where are the trolls? Where are the haters? I don't see them. I don't hear them. Over to New World Order and Police State News. A vibration has been detected. Stop vibrating the desk. Okay. Uh, brutally killed. You know, there was another shooting this past week uh, down in uh, somewhere with Louisiana. 
I don't know. Yeah, Lafayette, Louisiana. Cop shot this guy going into a gas station. Apparently had a knife. Shot him in the back or something. I don't know. I'll put a link to that. TMZ says, Detroit cop shoots and kills fenced-in dog. Police department sides with the cop. Put a link to that. Shoot him up. Bang, bang. U.S. schools changing their curriculum in response to Black Lives Matter. Survey finds 81% of teachers support the movement. That from the Daily Mail. Things are changing. U.S. jails refuse 25,000 criminal aliens being turned over to ICE. That in immigration news, we got Virginia plans mandatory COVID-19 vaccinations for all residents. Just like we said, put a link to that. Texas mandates vaccines for kids in public school, even if they're learning online. Let that sink in a minute, folks. Doctors lay out plan to punish people who refuse coronavirus vaccine. This was from earlier in the month. This is from August 11th, but I saw the headline. Thought you might want to know about that. Uh, coronavirus, what's an area of intervention? What does it look like a local lockdown? Check out that sign. It's, you know, going to be rolling lockdowns for years to come if we're not hit by an asteroid or some catastrophe doesn't happen. Why Victoria is seeking to extend state of emergency for another 12 months? Be advised, my people, across the sea, of course, just like the war on terror. Got to keep this thing going. California's all-out war on church worship intensifies with bans, fines, and sending in spies. Put a link to this from PJ Media. You cannot go to church. Ketamine that's injected during arrest draws new scrutiny. I didn't even know about that. And one more. We got the de detainee operations. Did you see the, the, the footage coming out? 826. This is going on up in Wisconsin, I think. Uh, yeah, Fort McCoy, Wisconsin. Check out this little video that they got uh, where the military is training detainee operations. Do you believe they're training for overseas operations? I mean, how many national level exercises have we covered year after year where the military's training in U.S. cities and jumping off buildings and helicopters in the middle of the night? It's all for you folks, don't you know? Over to World War III News. Gas pipeline explosion causes cascading blackout across Syria. In suspected terrorist attack, we got U.S. armored vehicles tried to block Russian patrols. Uh, path in Syria, MOD says that on the 27th. I saw a story, I don't have a link to it, but breaking right now about uh, U.S. and Russia airspace getting in, getting each other's way or something. Some close calls with some B-52 bombers or something like that. World War III, China and Russia sound alarm bells ringing across the globe in major move. Put a link to this from Express. Got another one from Express. China fires missile in South China Sea and a warning to U.S. after plane entered no-fly zone. Uh, that's another incident. Uh, there's, a, there's a new one going on right now. I don't link to it. I apologize. Senior Chinese diplomat cast out on coronavirus uh, originating in China. Yeah, because, you know, Trump, the you know, China virus. Trump administration weighs accusing China of genocide. Put a link to this from Politico. So all kinds of back and forth. In Kim Jong-un news this week. Kim Jong-un, uh, they're reporting once again he's in a coma and his sister's about to take over. And his sister's going to raise hell and launch nuclear weapons and all this. Put a link to that. I don't know how much of that I believe. The, you know, the rumors flying around about North Korea. And I got one more, not World War III related, but maybe an act of sabotage. U.S. Navy investigates sailor for arson aboard the ship that went down out there. And uh, I think it was in California a month or two ago. Over to Earth Changes in 2012 news. Now my uh, earthquake site is back up for this week. So I said it for the past two weeks, six points and above. Uh, we've had quite a few six points and above. We had one on the 25th, 24th, 21st, 18th, uh, and they were all on the 18th. So I'll put a link to the earthquake and volcano data. I didn't see too much on volcanoes this week. Thank God that site came back up, though. I love that site. U.S. and world, let's see. The big news this week was Hurricane Laura struck. Check it out. They, the, the Hurricane Laura toppled a Confederate statue on its, on its way up from from the Gulf Coast. It ended up here in Missouri. We had a little bit of rain from it. So Hurricane Laura tore up a bunch of shit. My thoughts to everybody who's in the path of that thing. Meanwhile, out in California, seven dead, 1.2 million acres. People, California, I don't know if I can rewind this map. Is this, hey, look at this. The entire western part of the United States is on fire. I saw that graphic. I had to include that. And one heartbreaking story, just out of many, California Man 81 reveals how he spent 30 years building his dream home before it was burned to ashes. If I have any wealthy subscribers, get a hold of this man. Help him out, please. Very bright fireball illuminates sky over Japan's Kinto region. Put a link to this. Speaking of Japan, we got more high up people disappearing. Abe says gut wrenching resignation leaves goals unfinished. Uh, high up Japan guy is resigning. Don't know why. Earth changes, you know, or asteroid coming in. George Conway withdrawing from Lincoln Project. Really, uh, the whole Conway family, you know, uh, Kellyanne Conway resigned from the White House. They say it's over their 15-year-old, you know, girls gone wild daughter. She's having all kinds of problems. Maybe, or maybe it's just a cover story. Put a link to that. Asteroid 2011 ES4 will pass between the Earth and the Moon on September 1. Be advised. No one will come so close in for 10 years. We'll put a link to that. Is it a coincidence? Asteroid headed toward Earth before November election. 
That's another one. Asteroid Doom all over the place. And I'll put a link to a video somebody put together, posted this on GLP. Compilation of images via myself, the net, Soho, ISS, inbound debris. Uh, just some pretty pictures here of stuff flying in. Be advised. You gotta stop saying things about asteroids hitting the planet. It's only my speculation, people. I have no idea what's going on. Over to Strange and Bizarre News, talking about no idea. Let's see. Dude is shooting at us. BLM run for their lives after Milwaukee homeowner fires warning shots. Be advised, people firing at BLM. Right on. Violence breaks out as conservatives refuse to back down from Black Lives Matter mob in Beverly Hills. This is going on all over the place. Two groups of people clashing. I killed you. No, I killed you. Put a link to that. Charlotte Black Lives Matter marched down the street uh, chanting F Jesus cover street preacher with silly string. What? That from the Gateway Pundit. We got zero heads. This would, they would have killed us. Rand Paul describes being attacked by unhinged mob. Oh, they got video of it there. Rand Paul trying to get through it. Oh my God, guys, come on. You know, I talk a lot of shit on TV, but you know, I'm a pussy in public. Let's see. Uh, the Daily Wire says left the storm uh, suburb with guillotine, burn American flags, get in the effing streets. Where did this happen at? This happened uh, out of somewhere. Was this in Portland? Yeah, I think this was important. Guillotine in the streets, beautiful. I, speaking of guillotine, protesters construct guillotine outside of Amazon CEO's home. Apparently, they're not liking him too much. Put a link to that. We got Democratic congressman blames gun ownerships on small genitals. Oh, don't talk about yourself like that, congressman. We got uh, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar's son charged with stabbing 60-year-old neighbor over trash can dispute. My trash can, man. Put a link to that from Fox 2. Now, what's going on? College student 21 and her 45-year-old stepfather... Uh, shot dead in road rage attack over fender bender and people acting crazy out of KFC drops finger licking good slogan from ads after 64 years. I don't like KFC anymore anyway. You know, if you have a Raising Cane's chicken fingers in your neighborhood, check them out. Way better than KFC. Shout out to them. I gained a few pounds from them, I will say. Woman pronounced dead, found later to be breathing at Detroit Funeral Home. What? Let me out of this box! Oh my god, they're trying to kill me! I got a couple more. One more. Mother who realized she was gay at the same time that her husband came out as transgender says they are happier now than ever as a lesbian couple. Well, all is well. And back to our brandy. Eh? Now I'll put a link to my favorites. You want to check this stuff out over there? Look at this YouTube censorship going on here. Uh, we got the Delta V rocket that didn't go off. Apparently, uh, just a big fire on the pad. There's a story over there about the two officers shot in St. Louis, if you want to see that. we got protest, uh, protest against coronavirus lockdown over in London. People in the streets pissed. Nobody wearing a mask right on. Death to the new world order. Give them hell. COVID-19 will be, will be with us for a long time, says California Governor uh, Pelosi, blah, blah, blah. Here is uh, just the last week's news here. Check out my favorites. And thank you to everybody who's been posting content, keeping everybody informed. You guys are doing awesome work. And I got one shout out this week. Shout out to the New Jersey gym. This gym has been shut down several times. They defied orders, opened back up. They have now become campaign headquarters for GOP hopeful. Not that I'm saying we're going to vote the bastards out and that's all going to work, but shout out to them for keeping their gym open. They say, okay, well, we'll just become a, we'll just become a, uh, you know, a politics place. Put a link to that from the New York Post School story. That's all I got for this week, guys. If you like the report, please give me a thumbs up or thumbs down. If you think it sucked, it's the worst of YouTube. You never want to see again, please rate, though. It helps me move around. You can also follow me on BitChute, uh, Twitter, Gab, uh, Patreon, all those places. Uh, so you don't lose contact with me. You can also support me on Patreon or follow me over there for free. I will never charge for my content. You can also support me directly with PayPal. I put a lot into these reports. And... Boy, I didn't think I would have the energy tonight because it's been such a draining night. You know, I don't know how you people feel about your local police departments, but the St. Louis City Police Department, where I've always lived, they kick ass 24 hours a day. And when one of them goes down, maybe I don't, I don't know what it is, but I feel that. I feel it in my heart. And my heart goes out to that officer and his family, and I hope he recovers. But the last time I checked on the update, it, it, it's not sounding good. The guy's still barricaded. This is only happening a few miles away from me, so... Anyway, I just didn't think I'd have the energy, but I had to get this out because I, I put the links together earlier. And, um, you know, tell me what you think about all this madness. Who knows what's coming, people? We're talking mandatory vaccines. Schools are opening. More kids. Are, there's, you're gonna, you're just going to see an explosion in the coronavirus numbers. Whether you believe in the numbers or not, that the official numbers are going to be what they're going to be. Uh, we got asteroids coming in September, November. There's a lot on our plate. Tell me what you think. You guys take care. Stay safe, though. Thank you for hanging out with me for a few minutes. You have a good week. I will see you on the next one.